What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm out here in the woods demoing a new product for my mountain bike. It's the bomber strap which is a super innovative and easy way to transport your mountain bike out to the trail. So this video is going to be kind of like an overview and just showing how to use it and how easy it is to use it. And then I'm just going to go hit the trail real quick. Probably won't film that part. Uh, my last mountain biking video didn't seem to do too well on the channel. So I'll probably skip that part and just kind of focus on the bomber strap and the pros and cons of using it. It's made by a mountain biker for mountain bikers. So you know it's a legit product and it's honestly truly a really easy and simple and nice way to transport your mountain bike between your house and the trail. So as you already saw, I got the mountain bike mounted up no problem. That was my first time putting it on the bomber strap and it was pretty straightforward, pretty intuitive. You kind of just loop it under and then tighten it down and from there, the magnetic clips make it super easy to mount up your mountain bike to the actual bomber strap. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the bike off the truck and show you guys how quick that process is and how easy it is. So as you just saw there, it took literally like five seconds to get the bike off the truck. Uh, the hardest part was just trying to get the bike between the bed rack and the tailgate of the truck, but otherwise, this thing is super simple to use and really quick, especially with the magnetic clips. All right, so real quick, before I take this off and give you like an overview, I just wanted to show you how it's actually attached. So it's a reinforced nylon strap that kind of goes under the tailgate and is buckled onto the backside with that pretty cool looking buckle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to get the bomber strap off of the truck and I'll show you some of the features of it and tell you why I like it so much. Okay, first things first, just picking this up straight out of the bag, it is a super quality piece of material. The back is super soft, so you know it's not going to scratch your truck up. And all of the nylon is reinforced and pretty heavy duty. So this thing seems really, really durable and I'm not going to worry about it, you know, deteriorating over time at all. So like I kind of mentioned earlier, um, this piece here that goes under the tailgate is like double reinforced pretty much so that it's not going to get frayed from rubbing against the tailgate or anything like that. And then the rest of it's just like the regular nylon strap. So the way that it buckles in, and this is a really nice buckle by the way, um, you kind of go through this bottom loop here and then pull it as tight as you need and this clasp opens up and when it's open it obviously slides through nice and once you get it to the length that you want you just lock it into place and it's super secure obviously not going anywhere so that was really nice it made it super easy to install and take off and then for the actual straps that strap onto your bike um, this is the magnetic version so it literally takes two seconds to click on and pull off and it's super secure like once this is on it's not going anywhere unless you pull up from this 
and that's the same on both sides. And then in addition to that, you also get a little pocket here, which you can store something kind of small, nothing too big, um, kind of like a fanny pack size pocket. So super nice product overall. And the last thing is that it comes with a handlebar strap, which is a little bit stretchy, but this will keep your handlebars from rotating while you are driving. And that's super nice because you don't have to worry about locking the back wheel down to the bed at all because if your front wheel isn't turning, then the bike's really not gonna go anywhere. And I experienced that on the way here. Um, I didn't have a strap holding the back of the bike down like I normally do, and the bike didn't move at all, even going over some big speed bumps. So yeah, that's the bomber strap in a nutshell. Um, like I said, super quality product. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's made of high density foam, so this should last pretty much forever without you know, wearing down or getting squished or anything like that. So. Super nice product, again, made by a mountain biker for mountain bikers, so you know the guy's not gonna make anything that he wouldn't use himself, and this is a really good product. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you are in the market for a tailgate pad for your bike. Okay guys, so that is the magnetic version of the bomber strap, which I would highly suggest you get the magnetic version if you're gonna go and get one of these. These clasps, just pulling on and popping on like that, super easy, makes it super simple and quick to get the mountain bike on and off the truck. Overall, I'm pretty excited to have this product because I've been looking at this literally since I got into mountain biking a couple years ago and I've wanted to get it and finally ended up getting it, which is awesome because previously I was just throwing a moving blanket over the tailgate and then strapping the back of the bike down with a bungee cord. And that definitely was not a good way to do it because, you know, there's no protection really with a moving blanket other than scratch resistance to the actual tailgate, it's super thin. So I was always worried about going over bumps and having the bike get damaged or the bike damaging my truck. Uh, with the bomber strap, you have a good inch of padding here, maybe more, so you don't have to worry about that at all. And I, of course, looked at getting a full tailgate pad, but the two things that I don't really like about those is number one, they're big and bulky, so they cover up the full tailgate pretty much. And a lot of times they cover up the backup camera on the truck too, which is something I really didn't want to deal with. Um, I know a lot of the new ones have like windows you can open up, but it just doesn't look good. It doesn't seem intuitive to use it like that. And plus 99% of the time I'm only carrying one bike. Um, so I don't really need the full tailgate. And I think this is truly the perfect solution for me. And number two, they, like I said, are big and bulky and they're also a lot harder to get on and off. So this, I showed you guys how quick it was to get it detached from the truck. That's super nice, and since it's small like this, you can just take it off when you get to the trail, throw it in the truck, nice and locked up, safe, and you don't have to worry about it getting stolen. Whereas with the full tailgate pad, I know, at least personally, I'm lazy, and I would not take that off every time I get to the trail, and that would obviously be prone to getting stolen, which is a tale that I've heard a lot with those tailgate pads. Alright guys, there you have it. Like I said, super simple, straightforward, quick to get the bike back on. Um, especially with those magnetic clips, it takes like 10 seconds once you have them tightened down to the right tightness that you need for your bike. I really like this product and I think it's going to come in handy for years to come. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to you on that. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different for my channel. Um, but I do love mountain biking. I know a lot of you guys do as well, being adventurous and outdoorsy people like myself. So this video might be good for some of you guys. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.